Traditions and Transitions. It's an exhibit where we see artwork which uses traditional art forms, art media, and it transitions into interpretations using forms that are not as traditional. We go from painting to painting and watercolor and ink to works with fabric, wood, and a variety of other objects. We have about 30 artists and they come from all over New Jersey and also other areas outside New Jersey. Here we have a very traditional approach by the artist Kathy McCoy Bristol. She's showing a painting of a figure. You can see the realism and the forms that let you know that this person is sitting in an actual place. This is a very traditional way of handling the human form. You can see it in her shading with the skin tones and also with the uh, background with the trees. Now we see another piece that is very traditional in its uh, execution. It is graphite on paper where the artist uses the graphite pencil to indicate the contours, the tones, so realistically that you have to look to make sure it's not a photograph. And here we have a much more contemporary piece. There's an abstraction which relies on color, shapes, and a linear aspect to make you want to look into the uh, painting and actually conjure up whatever it speaks to you. It is very contemporary. It's a very uh, great leap from the traditional style of painting. Here we have a piece by Courtney Minor. It is a very contemporary piece. Using the black light, you can see the graffiti or the different designs that you cannot see without the black light. We had no idea when we juried this that this was an additional element, but this definitely is a most contemporary traditional use of painting. This is a traditional piece. You have a figure painting, and in this one you see the uh, child or the young person getting their hair groomed by the mother. You can see the traditional application of the figure, the leather that even looks like leather. So this is a very traditional treatment done by Timothy Simmons. This is a very transitional piece because while you see the images of the uh, faces, it was done digitally so he could manipulate or the artist could manipulate the placement of the design that integrates with the piece. A very contemporary application of the artistic process. This is a very traditional piece by Peter Ambrush. You see how he has contoured the face with the shading and you can see the uh, texture of the hair and the jewelry very well done. It's kind of like a transition from the traditional because instead of it just being the uh, application of the paint, you have different application of a spray application, similar to um, Looking here at Marcel Stewart's piece, Color of Euphoria, this is something that the viewer can connect with. They don't have to analyze, is it done anatomically correct. They can just see and enjoy the colors and the interplay of the lines with the objects. I think when they come to see this exhibit, they'll get a fuller understanding of an artistic experience, that it doesn't have to just be one particular type of art. It can be whatever appeals to them, whether it's fabric, whether it's collage, whether it's sculpture, whether it's taking a group of optics and putting them together to make them look like a face. They can find something they can relate to.